not so much, it's not too complex in a sense because it's, um, it's just the imagery, you, you know, you can move it forward, move it backwards, slow it up, pause it, expand it or something like that, <coughs> which is, you know, these things are possible right now. Um, but it wasn't so much looking at, uh, it wasn't so complex in the sense of you know, symbolizing uh, information in a, in a way other than directly. This is a little, a little thing that I came across as a, a multi-input um, touch sensitive uh, device that um, it doesn't have any sense, but it's really incredible seeing it. You can see a short, short clip of the video of it, but how to visualize information, how to um, basically interact with it in a way different than, you know, if it's used for traditional then, of course, you've got the old, uh, the, the old way of inputting information. But I was looking at the, the different sensors that we have uh, and different input sensors. And we've all seen Star Trek, uh, uh, the holodeck, and all that. It's just uh, <coughs> an interesting experiment. And, uh, I don't know if you've got that sort of holographic film, but um, that is, in a sense, what it's, what it's trying to achieve. Um, this is one of the things, before I go there, but what I'm interested in is, I once heard um, an interview with Gregory Gaines, and the, the interview was saying, well, how, how, do you, how do you go through the steps to get, to get these diets? Well, I, I already visualized it. I already know exactly. I've already done it. And then it's just a matter of physically you know, putting on the right button. So it's, I'm interested in how to visualize information so you can get to a place, a better place, a more rounded, a more robust place uh, to solve whatever problem that you have. To be it artistically, analytically, or
This is a holographic projection? Yeah. Well, no, it's not a holographic. I mean, it seems like it. Uh, this guy described it. 